Hello guys, my name is Luis Soto, and today I'm going to give y'all my experience about anatomy and physiology class. So, let's get straight to it. First things first, what I like about it is how chill my classmates were. They were very cool. It was no beef, no drama, no nothing. Um, some people just, you know, like to spill the tea and stuff, and that's it. But to be honest, that's, that's how generation is nowadays anyway. So, nothing surprising about that. The classroom is not traditional, I'll tell y'all that right now. You don't get handed assignments and then just do them on the spot like that. No, nah, I mean, on some occasions you do, but in class alone, you get a preview of what you're about to learn, and then you get the assignments, then you get the quiz. On top of that, the subject alone is very interesting. It ain't going to be easy, but it ain't hard either. It, Bro, when I tell you it helps you in life situations, it will. Not only that, but you save time and money. Next thing is how it connects to my sport. Y'all may know me from doing MMA or just mixed martial arts in general. Um, how how it relates to it is like it's a cheat code basically. I analyze the my opponent and I just take him down that quickly. I mean, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. It just depends on how I play my cards correctly. In that class, you will have to do some physical assignments. Everybody has a different learning style. Not everybody learns the same way. That is very important. Why? Just because you learn visually and the other person learns by just lectures all day does not mean everybody's going to learn by lectures all day. Everybody has their own learning style. So that is very important. Another thing too, Ms. Bell's class is actually very therapeutic. I tell you that right now. Bro, when I tell y'all, it'd be so many conversations. I don't even try to eavesdrop because it, like the classroom just be quiet sometimes, but you could just actually hear the background what's going on while I'm just talking to everybody else. Lab activities. Bro, the lab activities, they be, they're not as wild as you guys would think it is. Like, you're not about to cut open a human body. Like, no, that's, no. The only lab activity I remember that was very shocking to me was cutting open cats. That's right. You're cutting open a cat. You got to see all the insides. And yes, it does smell. You will learn many systems. I'll tell you that right now. Y'all learn many systems. The classroom alone is interesting. Like, how you memorize song lyrics, but you can't memorize the lesson you learned yesterday. Things I do not like about the class, right? You have to read the books, bro, in order to understand your assignment. You have to literally read word for word, but you don't gotta like copy all of them, right? You just summarize what you know about it. If you if you don't study for the exams or like the tests you get, it's gonna be low key challenging. It just depends how you do this, uh, how you move on with the subject. My advice for the future students of Ms. Bell's class, um. First things first is, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. Common sense. If you do not have common sense, it's going to be low-key a struggle. Another thing, you want to have creativity. Creativity is crucial, and so is common sense. Take notes. Think outside the box. Don't always stay closed-minded. Think outside the box. Um, Get familiar with Greek and Latin words. Why? Because the terminology alone is just going to make sense in the long run, trust um, everybody got different learning styles, like I said. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to ask or answer any questions, whether they are right or wrong. This is kind of a cheat code, but not really. So, when y'all go to doctor's offices, depending which type of doctors y'all go to, because, you know, each doctor has his own field study. I asked. They helped me with the assignment. I remember that one word, hematoma. And I did not remember what Ms. Bell had said or the book either. So I asked my doctor and he just said, if you see the word hema in it, it just means blood. And Toma, well, I'll let y'all figure that out later in the uh, throughout the year. Get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Not everything is meant to be easy. Not everything is meant to be hard either. I hope you guys enjoyed my overall perspective about this entire classroom experience. I hope you guys have an amazing year. Hope you guys, you know, learn some, some from my advice that I gave y'all. And my perspective throughout the entire course itself.